Hi, my name is Crystal Courtney. I'm with the Natural Resource Management section for Cincinnati Parks. And I'm here to talk to you about our deer hunting program. So the Natural Resource Management Program oversees the care of our forest throughout the 5,000 acres the Cincinnati Park Board cares for. Of that acreage, 70% is forested. And one of our most important programs to protect our forest is deer management. So for the past 12 years, we've been managing the deer species here. And if you were to come here 12 years ago, you would basically not see anything below five feet because the deer will actually browse as far as they could. The population was so dense. So today we still have species like spicebush here uh, coming back in after 12 years of management. So deer are keystone species within our forest. If left unchecked by things like the keystone predators, then they, it, they will actually change the composition of our forest overall. As a result, it will change the experience that we have as park patrons, as well as the ecological balance within our forest. And the importance of that is that while deer are beautiful creatures, our plants that they consume are used by hundreds of species. So if we don't keep this ecological balance, then we won't have our next generation of forest. One of their favorite species is an oak. So here at Mount Airy, that is one of our dominant species that we have here. Deer come in because they love the acorns, but as the acorns are eaten up, they'll start eating all the saplings. So what we find is that you don't have that succession of forest where you go from the one-year-old to the two-year-old to the five-year-old. All we had left at the beginning of this program was just big, large trees. So that was really the impetus for starting, is to take our forest back from a browser that is only able to be checked in Cincinnati by the Cincinnati Park Board bow hunting program. So how does the program work? So each year we have qualifications for our bow hunters. Uh, they basically have to show that they are a skilled archer, archermen and women. Um, and so they have to hit a target um, consistently and then after they pass that section, they're able to choose what area they want to hunt throughout our parks. So we have 10 parks throughout the state, the, the system, um, where we're actually actively managing deer. Um, beyond the, the archery range, they also have to take a very detailed training uh, that's, that's provided by park staff that goes over the details of our program. So what are our specific regulations within the parks? The purpose of that uh, instruction is to educate our hunters about how to keep our public as safe as possible. And as a result, for the, since the beginning of the program, we've had an excellent safety record. Um, and, as a, and as a result of that, each year we take feedback from the public for how to change the program in order to meet people's needs. This year we've taken your concerns into account, and as a result, we're keeping the majority of our trail system open. For a full list of what trails are open or closed, you can look to our website for more information.